Hello, I'm Sheriff Wayne Ivey of the Brevard County Sheriff's Office. Today I'd like to talk to you about a very serious and sometimes deadly crime, teen dating violence. Did you know that 96% of teens admit that they are the victims of emotional or mental abuse? With that, only 25% of teens ever report dating violence to an adult or to law enforcement. In all, one of every five teenagers has been a victim or knows a friend who has been a victim of dating violence. Dating violence needs to be taken seriously. If it is not confronted, it could affect the rest of the teen's life by introducing a cycle of unhealthy relationships with violent or abusive partners. The longer the teen stays in the abusive relationship, the more they become confused about what a healthy relationship is and misconstrue abuse and controlling behavior as love. Dating violence is a crime similar to domestic violence. As parents, we need to know the signs of dating violence and be sure to have an open line of communication with our teens so they can come to us for help. Abusive behaviors are usually learned, so it is important we set good examples of healthy relationships through our own behavior. It is also important to build our teens' self-esteem from a very young age. Children who believe in themselves and their own worth are better able to choose good partners. Here are some warning signs you need to look for. Is your teen making excuses and apologies for a boyfriend or girlfriend's behavior? Does your teen often have unexplained injuries such as body pain or bruises? Does your teen isolate himself from family and other close friends just to be with her companion? Does the companion constantly text and call to see where your teen has been and who they have been with? Does your teen change behavior in even his or her dress so they don't upset the companion? Does the companion put your teen down or criticize him or her in front of others on a regular basis? Is the companion extremely jealous of others? Is your teen upset, withdrawn, or depressed but can't explain why? If you see any of these warning signs, create an open environment with your teen so he or she feel comfortable to discuss the situation with you. Never criticize, judge, or jump to conclusions when your teenager seeks help. Maintaining a neutral position may help your son or daughter to open up about the situation rather than making him feel you're only bashing their friend. Never make threats of what you want to do or to see happen to the abuser. This will just scare your teen to silence. Assure your teen that he or she is not to blame for the situation and you intend to help get them out of the situation because there is help and he or she will be all right. You need to tell your teen that dating violence will get worse and in fact, it rarely goes away on its own. Most teenagers have an unrealistic picture of what a romantic relationship should be. Explain that abuse and controlling behaviors are not love. Teen dating violence is a subject that is extremely hard to approach, but the Brevard County Sheriff's Office is available to help you and your teen out of this abusive situation. For more information, please contact our Community Services Unit at 321-264-7755. On behalf of the proud men and women of the Brevard County Sheriff's Office, thank you for taking time to watch this important crime prevention message so we can all work together to protect our children.